which which option can I play Zelda on? Mm, 3DS. Or or so, now 2DS. Exactly. That's the one I want to game on. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll play games on my phone. Mm-hmm. And I do often. However, that's not what I'm looking for. Yeah. And and you can get pretty graphically intensive games for like around eight bucks on phones and stuff like that. But like the it's little ninety nine cent games are good and a fix, but they're nowhere near compared to like Super Smash Brothers. Um or even like you, even like um PS four game quality or PS three game quality on uh a handheld Vita or something like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Still, so, one, really, go ahead. one device is set for, is made for video games. Mm-hmm. The other is not. Yeah. yeah. Sure, the games are there and have always been there, and that's fine. I accept that. But uh, the graphics, even with Apple's new A7 chip that they're putting in the new phones, the graphics will still be better on my handheld gaming device. I'd like to see a comparison point because I don't feel like I've seen that in a good while. You know, I haven't not seen a direct comparison point with that uh, or power or anything like that. Um, uh, Phones aren't in three D. This yeah, there's, there's that too. Uh, <laughs> the specs that they talk about on this new phone are pretty respectable. And again, I'd like to look at that as well and see what the, how right, those compare. I, I'm not um, saying that they're not respectable. But it's not a gaming console. No, not by design. Originally, it's definitely backdoored. But, I mean, the, one of the things with the new iPhone was there's this idea that you move the phone and there's this motion thing. And they're like, wow, they had to do something really interesting in the software. I mean, Windows isn't a gaming platform, is it, Josh? It's not intended for gaming, but a lot of people do it that way. Same with the Macintosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to a lesser extent. Um, I don't see any difference between saying PC gaming is, is a bullshit uh, a vi- gaming platform uh, versus the phone. I think things are becoming very good. I think the demo they showed off today looked very impressive. Um, yes, First there's off. a different kind of controls. Um, yes, I can uh, uh, calculate and do my finances on it, but I can do that on my Windows PC as well. First off, um, never did I say that uh, mobile gaming uh, through a phone was bullshit gaming. No, I'm no, just no, saying no, no. It's I, not console I, I, I understand. gaming. I did make a leap. It's a, you're saying it's not a gaming device, <laughs> except um, for the in, except except for the I, engage. I, I, I was painting a broad stroke with that. Except uh, for the uh, engage, so, can we all agree on that? It, yeah, yeah. F the M pitch. My rebuttal to the PC part is that um, no. Uh, to start off with, uh, PCs were not made for gaming. No, uh, you were 100. Nope. percent However, through time. Uh, the parts have been geared more towards gaming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, And only if you want them to be. Mm -hmm. So you're right. PCs weren't for gaming, but now they are. Mm -hmm. It's a legitimate gaming platform. However, iPhones and Androids aren't at that point yet. I know. know, You're not... You're not going out to get a new phone to play the hottest new mobile game. Here's, here's, um, but they're trying to change that. Have you noticed that there is the NVIDIA Tegra store for anything with a NVIDIA Tegra chip? Uh, you can get games that are like made for it. I'm see we're, we're seeing that 3D revolution there. You don't hear about it as much with the Apple devices because more or less built into everything else they do on there. Um, everything they talked about today helps gaming just as much as every everything else you would want to do on this phone. Um, I think I, I think it is getting there, but it's going to look different. Um, and, it's not there yet. And no, and it's not there yeah, yet. And, it, but I, it's it's good I enough. Mean, I, I think I think the the issue is this is a Trojan horse, and it's taking mind share away from the direct gaming platform. Um, I, I mean, how many kids? How many kids get iPod touches instead of DSs these days? 